Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this channel, we will discuss about the current affairs topics of various events and you know that the current affairs is a very important topic for all the competitive examinations. This current affairs events makes lots of difference because these types of questions is not so easy to remember and makes the things more difficult for the aspirants and this will be not a so easy a task because you should go through the topics very thoroughly and this topic can make a bigger change in your selection criteria so in generally the aspirants read the current affairs and they try to memorize the events collecting the informations from the various magazines which are actually meant for the competitive examinations but it is uh, something hard to remember what you are reading in magazines not all the time but here we are trying to make the things easier because we are going to create some audio visual sensation in your preparation we know that the hearing aid and the visual aid is more effective than your reading because it boosts your memory better than the reading aid here we will try to get to give you some wearing aid about the current affairs and i think you'll be felicitated with that type of learning here you will be informed the current affairs through some newses actually the newses becomes the current affairs for the aspirants and today's current affairs is tomorrow's gk that is also an important part so here in this channel we will first present you the news and you will try to make the questions from that news and from that information and and i also will make some questions from that news and you will also try to make the news very entertaining to your study okay let's start with the audiovisual informations and news and make some questions for your best preparations method let's go to the topic indian S Space Research Organization is planning to launch Resat 2 BR1, which will act as a spy satellite for Indian Army. This is the second satellite of research series. The first satellite, Resat 2B, was launched earlier in this year. This time, it will be launched from Shotish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Horikota on December 11, 2019. The satellite will be launched using PSLB. You need to know the PSLB means Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle and along with this Resat 2BR1, 9 commercial satellites would also be carried to the space, the 6 of which are from America and other 3 are from Italy, Israel and Japan. Now what will be the work of this Resat 2BR1? This will act as the spy satellite for Indian Army and it will work in the every type of weather. It will make a better scope for the Army's Earth surveillance. Now what is RESAT? RESAT are the Indian Imaging Reconnaissance Satellite made by ISRO and the speciality of this satellite is that it can work in every type of weather. Another thing we need to know that the India has launched 310 satellites for the foreign countries so far. And along with this, another uh, one important news is that the India is planning to get ready for another Chandra mission and it will be named as Chandrayaan 3. After the almost successful launch of Chandrayaan 2, India is planning to make the Chandrayaan 3 a successful one. And in this regard, ISRO has already asked rupees 75 crores from the Department of Economic Affairs. Now here is the information you may read in the newspaper and also in the magazines. So here the, um, in some different newspapers and magazines you have already noticed that they are making some questions from these informations and giving some options. Though this type of words you can do to yourselves. How? Through these informations what questions can be made? First of all, Reset 2 br one satellite was launched on which date? It is obviously 11th December 2019. Later it can be asked that Reset 2 BR1 was launched from which space center? It is Shadijahar Space Center. Where is Shadijahar Space Center situated? It is in Sri Kota. And I have said earlier that it will be launched through PSLV and the full form of PSLV. Now it has become a GK but you should touch it while making the questions. The PSLV means Polar Satellite Launched Vehicle. And what is the purpose of uh, sending this research? 2BR1 on the orbit because 
it will help the army's earth surveillance better than ever and what is the specialty of reset satellite the specialty of reset satellites is that it can work in all weather condition okay and the reset technology is made by isro which is indian technology and is being used by that is the point which, which we should remember and the questions may be very uh, in different ways you can make it in your way okay we will make some questions from this information later and you will be able to download in pdf also the find the link in the description box and also after this topic you will get some questions note that and later go to the next informations the eminent diplomats has been awarded with diwali power of one award actually this the word diwali may arise in your mind that this is a award based in india but it is not diwali power of one is international award and it is given by the united nations and this year this ceremony was held in the new york the headquarter of united nations and this is given for the work which has been done for the secure and peaceful world and the awardees must have worked for united nations in their past career this year in 2019 the award was given to kairat adma khamanov of kazakhstan who was the former foreign minister of kazakhstan and permanent representative to the united nations and also to nicolas emilio of cyprus the former permanent representative to united nations and also to frantisek ruzika from from slovakia the former permanent representative to united nations and also to vladimir yenchenko of ukraine the permanent representative to united nations and one another interesting thing is that this award is called the oscar of the diplomacy this was established in 2017 this whole function and arrangement has been made by diwali foundation in usa and the chairman of this foundation is raju batra so this is the little bit information and what questions may be sorted out from this try in yourself and match it with me and other magazines and other sources from uh, from which you get current affairs okay what are the points here may be pointed out is that this year diwali the power of one was given to four persons and their names you should remember this four name and what is this given for number 3 in which year diwali foundation was set up in usa and who is the chairperson of diwali foundation usa right now okay that is the point you should remember and obviously another point that award is given by united nations that is some important points there may be some twist in forming the questions and these are the points which typically you should remember and whatever the questions may be you will be able to answer the questions just follow the questions in the description box coming up to the next topic national energy conservation week is celebrated every year from 14 december to 20 december in india many government and public sector undertakings celebrate this week of conservation of energy week through some messages activities and one thing that energy conservation day is observed on 14th december every year and it is observed since 1991 and why because the waste of energy may lead the mankind to exhaust the source of energy very quickly relatively one thing appears that the energy conservation day is initiative of bureau of energy efficiency so in this case you should remember that national energy conservation week is observed from 14th december to 20th december and the national energy conservation day is 14th december and this was a initiative of bureau of energy efficiency and the objective of this initiative is to demonstrate achievements of government in saving energy and conservation come up to the next topic another information which uh, looks very familiar and may be asked in the examination that the malaysia has expected a case of polio in last 27 years this time a 3 year infant was examined and found that he was infected with polio virus this little information is important because after 27 years is such a case of polio infection has been happened in malaysia 
ओके कम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट मिस साउथ अफ्रीका जोजिबिनी तुंजी वाज अवार्डेड एज मिस यूनिवर्स 2019 एट द इवेंट व्हिच वाज हेल्ड इन अटलांटा ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स द 26 ईयर ओल्ड जोजिबिनी तुंजी वाज क्राउंड बाय द लास्ट ईयर मिस यूनिवर्स Katrina Gray of Philippines and what about India this time India was presented by Bortika Singh the last time the miss universe was won by Lala Dutta in 2000 after that in 19 years India could not get award of miss universe had some points which we should remember that who is the winner of miss universe 2019 who was the last year's winner and another information uh, we should note that the winner of this year's miss universe will be crowned by the last year's miss universe and in case of india which has now become a general lord is that the miss universe 2000 was owned by laradatta and this was the last miss universe india had own okay come back to the next point now this is a interesting information that who is the present youngest prime minister of any country in the world so that is sanna marin of finland and she is the world's youngest serving prime minister before her the prime minister of ukraine oleksiy hanchurak hold this position of youngest prime minister relatedly in india we had the youngest prime minister rajiv gandhi at his age of 40 okay this is there is three uh, informations which we should note about that the youngest prime minister of world who is serving at this time is sanna marin and he succeeded the place of youngest prime minister from ukraine's oleksiy hanchurak and in case of india it was rajiv gandhi the youngest prime minister of india come back to the next point that is another important topic which is likely to be asked in the very near future examination that the indian fighter aircraft rafal is to fly with tail name bs where bs stands for the retired air force chief marshal birendra Singh Dhanwa and the tail name has been given to honor him for his devotional service to the Indian Air Force and what is tail number tail number is an unique identification number which differentiates the aircraft from other aircrafts and every aircraft which are flying in the country is given with different tail number and this time the very controversial fighter jets Rafale will be identified by the tail number bs okay so that's a important topic and we should remember that the tail number was given on the retired air chief marshal birendra singh dhanwa and the tail number is the unique identification number which differentiates the types of aircrafts are flying nationally and internationally come back to the next point another interesting event human library event was held in mysuru the city of palaces in karnataka this is a very good initiative by international non profit organization this is the initiative which can replace the books by humans that means the knowledge and the informations which are shared by the books will be shared by the human beings and that's a exceptionally good conception and this non profit organization is registered with headquarter having in Copenhagen Denmark so this is a uh, information which is very rare and exceptional and likely to be asked in the examination that the human library event was held in where and the event was organized by which organization and the headquarter of the organization is situated in which places so that is the point which we should remember come back to the next point the integrated command and control center was inaugurated by the chief minister of honiara sri mohanlal khattar in gurgaon the millennium city of the country this integrated command and control center will combine the security reasons security operations and the connectivity issues and a smart street lights in a ring that means with this initiative it will be very useful for the traffic purpose and for the purpose of security to control it from a single center over the cities so this should be remember that this project was launched in horiana in gurgaon and was inaugurated by the chief minister of horiana sri mohanlal khattar and this is a integrated system which will facilitate 
the traffic police and the other security agencies to take prompt actions against the incidents happens inadvertently. Come back to the next point. Here is an information which relates the 7th December as its GST stakeholders feedback divas and army forces flag day. These two things were celebrated on 7 December. This is only for informational purpose. Come back to the next point. The United Nations Climate Change Conference is being held between 2nd December to 13th December 2019. The COP25 Conference of Parties was to be held in Chile, but the Chile government has cancelled the events due to some of their internal problems and rather the Spain offered to organize the event and it was organized by the Spain. So uh, there is some points which we should note that this time the international climate change conference was held in Madrid in Spain and this time India was represented by the Minister of Environment Sri Prakash Jabrekar and the event was to be organized by Chile but the Chile due to some internal reason has cancelled the event. So these are the points and as I have said earlier make some questions as your own and get ready for the exam. We all are concerned about the name anti-doping agency which is entitled to make doping tests for the athletes who are participating in the various national or international level events. There is World Anti-Doping Agency or calling as WADA WADA and this is for all over the world and National Anti-Doping Agency this institution works in India. This time this National Anti-Doping Agency or NADA has appointed actor Shuril Shetty as its brand ambassador to clean up sports in the country from the minus. That is the current event which you should remember. But beside this, we have to remember some facts that earlier in this year, WADA has suspended NADA as NADA has failed to comply with the guidelines of WADA in some cases. So from now, NADA will collect the dope samples from the athletes and will send outside of India for the testing. More difficult thing for national anti-doping agency is that they will have to pay extra effort to complete the testing of dope sample for the athletes who will compete in the Tokyo Olympics 2020. Coming up to the next topic, the climate change conference in which the Prakash Jabrikar the Minister of Environment was the delegates from India published its climate change performance index. In that index, India ranked 9th in the ranking provided. The ranking was to the high category where the countries have ambitious 2030 targets. In case of other countries, China being the largest polluters in the world has improved its ranking for the climate change performance index and was placed in the medium category. And the US and Saudi Arabia are the major polluters in the world and they hardly show any signs of improvement for that indexing. According to the report, 31 of 57 countries are responsible for 90% of the emissions. Among the G20 countries, only India and UK were ranked in the higher category. So the world need to be more careful about the climate change effects which are becoming very fatal to the humankind. So as an international initiative, many countries are trying to improve their emission rates and it is hoped that we will be able to control the climate change for the sake of mankind. Coming up to the next point. International Mountains Day has been observed on 11th December. The theme of this year is Mountains Matter for Youth. All you know that the lifestyle in the mountains is very difficult from various aspects and according to the UN, the 15% of the total world's population resides in the mountain area and nowadays it's become more challenging to live in the mountains because of the pollutions, climate change and over exploitations and Mountains Day gives focuses on the youth predominantly because they are being encouraged to perform their scopes in the betterment of the social life around the mountains okay so there are two points which has to be noted that the theme and the day the theme is mountains matter for youth 
and the day on which it is celebrated is December 11. Okay, coming up to the next point. Another case of World Anti-Doping Agency has been in news that beside the Department of India, the Russia has been imposed a ban of four years by the World Anti-Doping Agency. The World Anti-Doping Agency's Executive Committee unanimously endorsed the recommendation made by our independent compliance review committee that the Russian anti-doping agency be declared non-compliant with the world anti-doping code for a period of four years. The CRC recommendation which was derived from the reports of Wara's intelligence and investigations uh, and external forensic experts concluded that the Moscow data was intentionally altered prior to and while it was being forensically copied by WADA in January 2018. For this reason, Russia would not be able to participate in any international events including the coming Olympics which will begin on 24th July 2020 and the next Beijing Winter Games also. So that's a big slap on Russia's sports authorities. Although Russian anti-doping agency had the time to apply to the court of arbitration of sports within 21 days. So there is some facts that the Russia had tempered the data of their national anti-doping agency which shows clear sign of corruption among their doping test purposes. That's why World Anti-Doping Agency and the International Olympic Committee had decided a four-year ban on Russia. So there are some uh, points which are to be uh, remembered that the Russia has been suspended for four years from any international events. Number two is that the Anti-Doping Agency of Russia can appeal to the Court of Arbitration of Sports within 21 days. So th there is the fact that if, if there in any cases some ban has been imposed over any anti-doping agencies of any countries they can appeal to the court of arbitration for sports that's why this is important and why they have been deviated because according to the evidence the anti-doping agency of russia has tempered some valuable data for the press reports for some doubtful athletes so this ban will definitely one other anti-doping agencies to comply the guidelines of WADA and will dare to make such violations in future. So guys, is this really working for you to have some audiovisual aid? If you need any changes from the presentation, so kindly leave your comment on the comment box and we'll try to improve ourselves. Okay, as the news becomes the current affairs, as I have said earlier in this video, so if you are not even watching just as you listen to the song just listen to this current affairs and it will help you remember at the time of examination okay so guys let's go to the next topics abu dhabi the capital of united arab emirates has been awarded as, as world's leading sports destination for the seventh time in a row the coveted award was conferred on the 26th edition of World Travel Awards, which was held in Muscat, Oman. Besides this, the Abu Dhabi has gained some other prestigious awards, such as the Best City Breaks at UK's Selling Travels Agents and also as the West Asia's Leading Business Tourism Destination. So there are some facts to be remembered that the best export destination is Abu Dhabi. The best business destination is Abu Dhabi. West Asia's best business tourism destination is Abu Dhabi. And the best city break is also Abu Dhabi. Coming up next topic. Here is another important information that Minister of Culture has approved 2.95 crores financial assistance for the development of Gandhipedia. And this project will be implemented by National Council of Science Museum which is situated in Kolkata. The government of India is developing Gandhi Encyclopedia in order to spread the thoughts of Gandhian philosophy and his idea all over the country through social medias. Two things is important that the amount of rupees sanctioned for this purpose of Gandhipedia is 
2.95 crores and this will be handled by the National Council of Science Museums and is situated in Kolkata. Okay, coming back to the next topic. Now let's look at the very attractive and important news at the moment that the first electric flight was taken off from Canada. The first fully electronic flight in the world has successfully completed its test on 10th December 2019. The flight was taken off from Vancouver of Canada to the nearby islands. The related fact is that the whole world is trying to reduce the emissions which are responsible for global warming and a major climate changes and polluting our atmosphere. The government of India has also taken some initiatives to introduce some electrical vehicles in the country and as a part of it they have said only 5% GST for electrical vehicle and till March 2009 government of India has supported 2.8 lakh hybrid vehicles by incentivizing around 359 crore rupees and saved 50 million liters of fuel and reduced 124 million kg of carbon dioxide in the air. So in this case just remember the first electrical flight was taken off from Canada that is very important questions okay coming up to the next topic as we are concerned about the fact that the 20 the South Asian game 2019 was held in Nepal and concluded on 10th December 2019 and in continuation of the past glories India topped the event in respect of medals earned by the Indian athletes. Another thing is that the India is securing its first position since the establishment of South Asian Games since 1984 and this time India was able to own 309 medals totally among which 174 gold, 93 silver and 45 bronze was owned by the Indian athletes. There is some facts to be remembered that the 2019 South Asian Games was held in Nepal. Number two, India tops the number of medals owned by athletes. Nepal holds its second position and Sri Lanka becomes the third highest medal winner in South Asian Games 2019. And another thing is that the South Asian Games was started in 1984 and since then India secured its top position consecutively till now okay coming up to the next point the bio asia 2020 is scheduled to be held between february 17 and 19 in hyderabad this time switzerland will serve as the indian partner in this conference india is the switzerland's eighth largest trading partner and the amount of business has turned up to 19.7 billion us dollars between these two countries and about Bao Asia to 2020 you need to know that the it is a initiative taken by the government of Telangana and is going to be held at Hyderabad and what is the theme of this year's Bao Asia 2020 and this year's theme of Bao Asia 2020 is today for tomorrow and the purpose of this Bao Asia 2020 is to create business relations between life science sectors. So there are some facts to remember that BioAsia 2020 is scheduled to be held from February 17 to February 19. This time it will be held in Hyderabad. It was a initiative of government of Telangana and this time the partner of India will be Switzerland. And beside this you may remember that the there is a largest trade relation between Switzerland and India and we have a trade relation of about 19.7 billion US dollars. Okay, coming back to the next topic. The government of Andhra Pradesh cleared Disha bill on 11th December 2019. After the murder of Priyanka Reddy, a 26 years old medical student after being raped accelerated the initiation. This bill is also known as Andhra Pradesh Criminal Amendment Bill 2019. The act provide harsh punishment towards the mob who did heinous crimes against women. The act specifies that the judgment for every case registered should be pronounced in 21 days. Previously, it was 4 months. A special care should be taken to the case of rape and acid attacks. Under the act, those who found guilty will be tried under Section 354 of Indian Penal Code. However, the punishment has been increased the 
accused with proven charges of sexual attack will be sent to imprisonment for 10 to 14 years. The act includes the strict actions against person uploading degrading posts against women on social media. In this case, the first time offenders will be sent to jail for two years and the second time offenders will be sent to jail for another four years. This is a significant topic and the bill which was passed by Andhra Pradesh government is Disha and this bill is called the Andhra Pradesh Crime Law Amendment Bill and this bill has been introduced in the Bidhan Sabha after the case of Priyanka Reddy. Okay, coming back to the next topic, Greta Thunberg, a Swedish environmental activist on climate change, which campaigning movement, which became known as Fridays for Future, was named as Times Magazine's Person of the Year 2019. Her movement prompted millions of people from over 150 countries to act on behalf of the planet. She also had been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. There are some other honors declared by the times magazine and those are athlete of the year us women's soccer team guardian of the year us public servant entertainer of the year singer Lijo, business person of the year the ceo of disney bob eager so there is some information that the greta thunberg the environmental activist was named as Times Magazine Person of the Year. This is very, very important. Also had been nominated for Nobel Peace Prize and remember the other award winner as well. And another thing, the CEO of Disney is Bob Eager. Okay, coming up to the next point, FICI, F-I-C-C-I. Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry presented the Sports Award 2019 in various categories. And the winner of the each categories is as follows. A sports person of the year. Female, Rani Rampal, the captain of Indian women hockey team. Male, Saurav Chaube, ace pistol shooter. Best National Espo Sports Federation, National Rifle Association of India. Best company for promoting sports, Railway Sports Promotion Board. Best para-athlete, Shundip Choudhury for javelin throw. Breakthrough sports person, Amit Panghal for boxing, lifetime achievement administration, Govindraj Kepareddi, lifetime achievement player, Pankoj Adbani, best sports prompting state, Odisha, best sports journalist, Kamalesh Srinivasan. So these are the sports award which was given by Fiki. Each category is important. So keep a close eye on that. Coming up to the next topic. Rajasabha passed the constitution schedule type order bill in 2019 on 12 december and this is and this amendment has been done to include the three community namely Puriwara, talawada and shiddi community of dharwar and belagavi district in karnatak this bill was introduced by tribal ministers of estate renuka singh saruta in the upper house so there is two important points that the name of three newly added scheduled tribes community and the name of the tribal affairs minister of estate okay coming up to the next point that is a one-liner fssai and nascom has signed a memorandum of understanding to work jointly to build an app to to make the people aware of not wasting the food and they will try to encourage the food donation by developing the app for future purpose Okay, this is one liner. Coming up to the next topic. The world's most powerful woman in the list of Forbes magazine retained with Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor. And she was declared as world's most powerful woman for the nine consecutive years. And among the last 16 years, she had been awarded 14 times. Coming up to the next topic. The Ministry of Home Affairs and Narcotics Control Bureau will investigate the illegal cultivation of marijuana plantations by deploying drones before the plants are harvested. In this scheme, the, the satellite will also be used to find the plantations of marijuana plants. Before that, US uses this technology of drone and satellite to find the plantations of marijuana plant and they control the use of these plants. In India, 
in 2018, 414 tons of marijuana plants has been seized in more than 24,000 places. This marijuana plants has been smuggled from various parts of our country, for example, Himachal Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, etc. And the highest amount of smuggling is done from Tutikorin of Tamil Nadu to Maldives. Coming up to the next topic, the seventh economic census has been contacted by government of India nationwide through the Common Service Center (CSC) and is expected to be completed by March 2020. And for the first time, the economic census will be done digitally. What is economic census? Economic census is counting entry prenuptial units in the country. It involves both agricultural and non-agricultural activities. It provides information such as number of persons employed, number of establishments, type of ownership and source of finance, etc. The information provided by the census is used to plan and assess contribution of various sectors to the GDP of the country. So one thing is very important that this time the economic census of India is being done by CSC or Common Service Center. This is very important. Coming up to the next point, the ICAR, Indian Council of Agricultural Research and National Board of Agricultural and Rural Development or NAVARD has signed a MOU on December 13, 2019 in order to facilitate the research and technologies to develop climate resilient practice in the agricultural sector and high-tech farming practices. We know from the past histories that India has always kept its focus to improve the agricultural department and in that part the NABARD was built in 1982 and they are operating and the many branches of NABARD which was set up district wise has been performing till now. So to balance with the era of high technology these institutions have made changes within themselves and for the betterment of the farmer of our country the MOU has been signed. There is only one informational current affairs that the memorandum of understanding was signed between ICAR and NABARD. And beside that, we have to keep in mind that ICAR full form Indian Council of Agricultural Research and NABARD full form is National Board of Agricultural and Rural Development. Guys, these were the current affairs topics of this period. Any advice for the betterment of our channel will be highly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe the channel to get next update instantly and do not forget to tap the bell icon. Let's meet at the next video. Thank you.